Happy Friday to you. Thanks for stopping to see me today. I've got a new video for you showing you some new stuff about tassels, just little fine tuning type things and new ways to make them with some new products that we have at Bisa Boutiques, which perhaps you'll be interested in, or perhaps they will inspire you to do something with something you already have. But at any rate, that's what we're going to do today. And I think they're pretty spiffy too, so. What else do I have to say? We got spiffy tassels. Come on over here and I'll show you how it's done. Hi guys, I'm back and I said I was going to show you some spiffy tassels and I am. We have some new things today that I think are going to be very exciting for you to work with. I know I worked with them a little bit this morning and I was excited. I can't wait to go back up and finish what I started. But before I show them to you, I wanted to show you this one. There's so many ways to make a tassel. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, the conventional way that you always think of. It could be, you know, hanging from different loops or something, not under a housing per se, like you think of most tassels, or even freeform. Like this one is the BSM 1928 mount that we have. It just came in a few months ago, and it's kind of like a squarish form. And it has six hanging holes on the bottom. You can see, probably see them here. And what I did was I took varying lengths of chain and hung from it. But some of them I hung double. Now, of course, I can't get them separated. Some I hung double, some I hung single. Here's like a full tassel in the middle with it's got like five different pieces on it. And this one swung over here. So, Okay, so what I did was I put shorter ones on the side and then I put some short ones in here, but then I put a few long ones in the middle. There we go. You see that? Is it all in the frame, honey? I think so. hope so, because if not, points lost. Okay, she says thumbs up. Good. Alrighty, so you can see how you can kind of make a cluster here of like five different chains put in the middle. And then you can see what I did here because I have six holes. Normally, if you want to do something one, two, three, four, five, you know, you got too many holes. So what I did is I made the two holes that are in the middle into one by hanging a jump here and a jump here and then suspending a single jump with all the different chains hanging down from that one. So it made kind of a cluster. I've done that for years. I used to make a bib necklace. In fact, someday that'd be a good video too to show you how I do that. I used to make a bib necklace and in the center of it, it would have this great big long cluster of things hanging down and then off to the side the different things and it would just hang down in a V-shaped, chevron-shaped type uh, waterfall. It was very, very attractive. It still is. Anyway, so that's how that came out. Now I'm going to pull this up and just let you see how it drapes. And of course, this is Seralone with the chatons like we've been talking about. You can see how it drapes. So maybe you want to try that. You could do it, you know, with shorter chains too. I just like the drama of it. And this one, the way it hangs is it's not on a really, really long chain at the top. It's probably 19, 20 inches max, so that the motif comes up a little higher on your chest. Because if you leave it hang down too far, like we do tend to do with our long necklaces, this will be hanging down to forever. And it's just not going to be attractive that way. So that way it's more like a, just a fringe that's hanging up higher. And of course, then I've done my signature extender on it. I almost never make a necklace that doesn't have an extender on it. So, well, I've got some paint under my nail. That doesn't look good. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, that's one idea for you of how you can make what I call a waterfall tassel. And it does. It just kind of hangs like a waterfall there. Pretty neat. Very glitzy and blingy. Okay, so we have that one. And, of course, that part is on uh, Bisu boutiques.com under Bisu by 1928. And of course, then the next thing I'm really excited to show you about is this. 
And you might say, what in the world have you done? Remember Pinky and Pauline? The little porcelain dolls? We did any number of videos about them. They are from 1928 Jewelry Company. At one time they did make jewelry from them. I'm going to show you just, I'm going to show you a quick an example before I show you how this works. This is an original Pauline in the original Lucite plexiglass case. And she was a stick pin. And as you can see, the number 1928. Once in a blue moon, you might find one of these on Etsy somebody's selling. But they're really rather rare. And this Pauline is definitely going to be in the book. In fact, she was a gift to me from Mr. Bernie, so she's more special even because of that. But anyway, that's how they did their Pinky and Paulines. And of course, too, the story between behind Pinky and Pauline is that, let me just set her over here, is that um, one of their designers, probably David Alverson, because he was the one that traveled abroad the most, uh, went to a flea market somewhere in Europe, and he found these little porcelain dolls. And of course, they were just in plain bisque. They didn't have painting on them. But what they did, or what he was told, was that, because they had strings attached to them, and he'd say, what's that for? And they said, well, we use these to cool our tea. When we make our tea, it's very, very hot. And so we stick the little ceramic doll, bob it up and down the tea, and it cools our tea. So they're a tea cooler, <laughs> something like that, for lack of something better. But they didn't have paint on them then. They were just plain but ceramic. So anyway... He thought it was compelling, and he brought it home, and they had them made, but they painted theirs. So this is Pinky, or I call her that. They called the blue one Pauline. I don't know what they named this one, but I named her Pinky. Anyway, so now <clears throat> Mel's always trying to think of a new way to use Pinky and Pauline. Usually that has something to do with getting me to buy more of them. <laughs> but anyway, he, he makes things out of them, too. And um, so... He made this housing for the doll, which is really kind of clever. He's a clever guy, that Mel. And it has um, wings, and it's got some depressions. You can set stones into it. And then he asked me, do you want a hanging hole at the bottom? I'm like, of course, because you know me. i got to have my hanging fringe. But people have said, I didn't even notice it, but on the Beast of Peaks creative group, They've said many times, we know Brenda's cuff because it always has tassels on it. But I like tassels because it makes your necklace hang better and not flop around if you have a longer necklace. If you put a big motif like this on a long chain, it's going to go askew, cockeyed, crazy, crooked for you. So if you put a weight on the bottom, then it doesn't. So anyhow, all you have to do to make this is to apply some E6000 right down in here and then put your pinky or your Pauline in there and glue her in. Now, you don't have to use pinky and Pauline. I'm just going to tell you. There's a couple things I've found you could do. Tim Holtz has plastic frozen charlottes that you can get. They're inexpensive. I am not going to carry them because I don't like them, but they're okay. They're okay in these. So you could do that. If you happen to have one, you want to try it. Have fun trying to find something like this, though. I don't think you will find a housing for it, but it fits. Another thing you might do, if you like to collect the old frozen Charlottes, if you find some of the small ones, they're probably going to fit in there. So you could put your antique ones with the broken arms and legs and all that stuff, and, you know, you could do an antique one. Me? I'm liking my Pinky and Pauline. They're custom made for Pinky and Pauline, but you don't have to have Pinky and Pauline. So, enough said. But, I will mention before I move on from that thought, that we do have Pinky and Pauline in stock and ready to sell <laughs> at PeaceofTeaks.com. So if you'd like to have a Pinky or a Pauline, even just for collectability's sake, because the only company that ever used them was 1928, if you're a collector of 1928, you might want to get one just to stick in a cabinet. Okay? So, anyway, then what I did, you know, I glued her in, I set some stones in, and then I took some of the, I see I've got a little piece of glue here that's not too good. I'll have to fix that later. But anyway, I took some of the, um, in fact, I think that's not even set that good yet. Let me take it out. Yeah, I'll fix it. Um, I took some of the little rosebed drops, 
and I cut the hanging hole off and I mounted them in there because I just thought it kind of needed something. So let me see if I can get that back in there. Looks a little bit better since I'm right here now. Because I tell you what, if I put that aside, I mean, I get done for months. So let's just do it right now. Get that stuff back in there. The other thing is when you clip the ends of those off, you take the hanging hole off, you know, it is pewter underneath. So you're going to need to maybe file it a little bit and maybe take one of your copper leafing pens and go over there because the pewter will show. Now, what I did to compensate for that was I tucked it down in here so you can't see it. So there's another way. And I didn't have to do that. It worked out just fine. So there's a little tip. And then what I did after I had that all set up as I applied this little toggle piece, which we carry in the gingerbread at BisuBoutiques.com under the Bisu by 1928 components that are made by 1928 Jewelry Company. And then I just added a chain. So to show you how I did it, I've got, well, I'm gonna have to pick her up. Okay, I've got one here, one here, and then I've got two on this one. I like doing that. Sometimes I'll do one, then I'll do two or three on a chain because it makes it fuller. Here's some beaded. Here's another piece of rope chain with the gold. And another piece of bead chain. And I like, I think I've mentioned before, I like very much to put a little tiny bit of gold with a coppery chain because it just looks like a little bit of sunshine. So that's why I do that. But you could have done whatever you wanted to with that. Wouldn't matter. So that's how that one goes. Pretty. Can't wait to finish that up. Put it on my website. Somebody can buy it if they like. And of course we have these. These are going up today. And when we do the, um, when Javi renders this video, we'll get the numbers for her. Okay, I can't shout them out because I don't have them. The girls just got them in today. They're separating them. I cost them out. And they don't have the numbers yet. But before the video is done, we'll have them or we'll add them later. But if you come to what's new at bisubatiques.com or to the Bisu by 1928 section, you will find them. Okay? So, there you go. I think that's going to be a hit, that little doll housing. I got very excited when he showed that to me. We were over there last time and came through it on the table. I said, what do you think of that? And I said, I think I got to have that. <laughs> anyway, here's another one. I think this is really spiffy. This is done on a thimble. And not just any thimble either, let me tell you. This thimble is one of the many, many thimbles that 1928 casts. So I asked if we could have them for the line, and they said yes. And what they did for us is they drilled it. So you don't have to make a hole going through there. It's going to come with one in it. And this one's got little roses, and this is the old silver. And these two will be on the site today. And I didn't get a chance, but I thought, boy, if you took those Sharpie brush pens and printed, painted those roses red, wouldn't that be striking? So you can paint right over the old silver very easily, not a problem. You can do it over the gingerbread, too, for that matter. The rusted iron you can as well, but it doesn't show up as much. But anyway, we're good on here. And then I've just got a whole waterfall effect of chains that I had sitting up there. And of course, I've got my 1928 tag because that's I love those. And no, they're not for sale. I'm not going to sell those. They're kind of a special thing, but I just had to put it on there because it's probably going to be my necklace anyway. <laughs> anyway, in the top of it, I took one of those um, clip-on charms that I happened to have. This was a diaper pin. <laughs> But it looks like a safety pin to me, and I thought, you know, it goes with the thimble because thimble's sewing stuff, right? So and I loved it because it had a little bit of bling on it. So I clipped it onto the top of the bead there at the top, and then I'll hang through here, and that'll be my necklace, and I think it's going to be pretty spiffy. I haven't decided yet if I want to put beads on the ends here, but I probably will because that's kind of the bisou way. But you don't have to. You can just be raw fringe like that, and you're good. So that's how I made that. But anyway, I'm going to show you really quick a couple of little tricks about working with these thimbles when you make your tassels. Okay, so I'm going to set this here, and I'm going to bring one over here. Now, this is in the gingerbread, and it's a different pattern, but it's floral as well. It's got little bowers of flowers, sprigs and bowers of flowers. And it's also top drilled. See, it's got the hole in it, so it's ready to go for you to do your thing to it. Okay, so now when you go to make a tassel to go in this, 
you're going to have to find a way to fatten that tassel up because this is this is standard size stumble. It's big. You could wear it on your thong. So you got to fill that to some degree so that the tassel looks right in there. It's like with this one, it's still got some space on either side, but it's a pretty full tassel. Right? So how would you accomplish that? Well, this is how I do it real quick. I have them started. I have one for the center that I did, and this one's got four pieces on it. Okay? I could have put this fat fatter piece in the middle. That might have been a better way, but I didn't. It'll, it'll work out though, so let me show you how it's going to work. Then I take another piece and I put it up here. I don't hook it right into the, the bottom one. I put it at the top and I turn it close. Okay, and then I have another set here ready to go. Don't fall apart. I get done. Oh, here it is. Okay. I take that and I put it here. I guess I'm kind of chaining it. Okay? So I'll close that. Alrighty. Now I've got another one that I want to do. So now this has a fat piece on it. So I'm going to put this on so that the fat piece is kind of going to the outside. All right, now I lost my pill. When you know it, here we go. Here we go. If you do that, you lose your middle because you set it down and don't keep track. Just pick it up and let it hang and you'll find it. It won't be the end of the world. So now I'm going to hang it off the other side from the one that I was on. That way it'll fluff it out. And then I'll get that nice and closed. All right. I don't know if I need more than that or not. No, that's good. All right, so now what do I do to get that hooked up inside? Okay, here's my other little trick. I'm going to take this. I could have got that closed a little bit better. Let me get that. You know how I am about these jump rings. I like them to be completely flush so that you do not see space. It's almost like the piece is soldered and you can't see it at all. Okay, good. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, now I'm gonna take another one, put through. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna put my long eye pin. Put that through. Whoopsie, it's so long it wants to stand up. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna close this. All right, okay. Now, this is what I do to stabilize this up inside. I take a bigger bead. I could even go with a much bigger bead than this because this is a big thimble. It's bigger than this one. I don't know if you noticed that. See, we have them in two sizes. This is smaller than this one. This is a bigger one. Okay. I take the bead and because it kind of helps you to pull it up through and stabilize. Now let me the, the the hole is kind of small, but you can you can get the pin through. At least I did another one. I could just find the hmm. Well now this does work. Come on. Oh, this this one's a little bit thick to go through. Rats. Let me see you if I can use a beading. Beading board. all, yeah. yeah. You get a beading all and push it through, which I don't have one right here, but that's what I would have done. Oh, rats! I didn't try this first. I should have because I assumed it would work. I didn't realize that the wire was that thick. And I don't have my beading all down here. What do I have to broach this out? Hmm. What do I have? Yeah, but that work. I think so. Yeah, this is a polymer clay tool, I think. Just kind of drill it a little bit. They make bead drills, too. Uh, this is probably going to do the trick for us. Sometimes when things don't go right, it's a good thing. A lot of times they don't on my videos, in case you haven't noticed. Okay. Much you want to bet this is going to be fine now. 
Now that's a file and that's too thick. Javi saved the day. All right, I think she did anyway. Let's see. We'll find <laughs> out if she did. It looks like a pretty good size hole now. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> Here she comes to save the day. <laughs> All righty. She saved the day. All right, now you can see this is kind of jiggling around a lot. Okay, I don't like that. So what I'll do is I'll take another bead, and I love the look of this grayish color with this gingerbread. And now I'm going to pull it up tight. All right, hopefully nothing else goes wrong now. But see, that was a good thing, wasn't it, guys? You can find, let's get makeshift really quick. Here I am on camera, live in front of you, and we managed with Javi's help to get that. She's got, she's got all the tools over there. I've got this pulled up tight now, and I'm going to get in here as close as I can to that. Pull this over. Okay, so I don't have the wiggling going on now. I tighten that all up. Okay, I'm going to pull it over as far as I can and bend it back over. Pull it around. Ah, it's still got a little bit more play than I'd like. I can fix that though too. Okay, I'll show you. So now I got my hanging hole and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap and you guys who are better experts at this than me, okay, fine, I'm happy for you. I like wonky wraps. This will be a wonky wrap. Okay. I can always take it out. Very simple to take this out. Oh. Can you believe that? Did it just breathe? Yeah, it did. I know it did. Oh, yeah, it did. Ah, ha, ha. I think I'm going to have a fit. Okay, well, you know what? Now you get, Lauren's over here. She's down here, you guys. You guys know Lauren? She's down here. Lauren is Jordan's wife. Hi, guys. And she came down because she wanted to show you something. I don't know, we might be out of time. <laughs> oh, Javi's mo grandma is here from Chile. And Javi says, hey, everyone, how long is this going to take today? Because I'm going to go see my grandma. I'm like, oh, it won't be bad, Javi. <laughs> Send <laughs> her grandpa too. And then we came down here and somebody in the group, I didn't tell you about this, somebody in the group went and bought us for some reason. They did this lovely thing. They went and they bought us a light box, not a light box, a light ring so we could get better video. And we used it in the beginning of the video, but then we... <laughs> We ran into a situation where it was a little too heavy and she wanted me to move to another table when I was being stubborn and wouldn't move to another table and blah, 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 blah. And so finally we got it going and we're using our old equipment, which is, is good too. And now the phone's ringing. That goes to the fax line. I'm not, I'm not getting it. It can just ring all at once. Okay, now let's see if this doesn't happen again because this is good wire. I mean, it was so fat it wouldn't go through, so why I had to bust off like that? I don't know. But anyway, so I put these on here to work, and this one proves it works. You see how tight that is, okay? So I got proof at least, even if this goes out. Now watch, the glass bead's going to bust now. All right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I did. But I'm not going to go into it now. Hey, you know what I might have done? Maybe I picked this cut or <laughs> I might have picked this. I didn't. I'm like, did, did I like have a senior moment and pick the cutters? Well, yeah, they'll tell me it's because you picked the cutters up, moron. No, I <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, now I got another way to tighten this up. I'm going to swing this around. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to come down under it and do one of my little bead wraps on that. And I'm going to get it in there as tight as I can. All right. And now I'm going to get in here and I'm going to nip it. Which it may give me a little trouble. Because, you know, everything is today. What can I say? We have days like this. Some days everything turns to diamonds and other days it turns to dirt. What are you going to do? There's a song like that, isn't there? There you go. Some days are diamonds and some days are stone. I can't remember who sang that. Who sang that song? Some days are diamonds, some days are stone. Okay, that's rather attractive. 
And it all worked out, didn't it? Yes, what a woman. Okay, so you see? Now I've got my little bell tassel. The only thing about this now that I see got I got going on, that I may have to make some adjustment, and guess what? I can. Is because I threaded so many onto there and used the stabilizer, it's hanging down a little farther than I might like. Because, okay, you can see on this one, all of the chain is still going up underneath. You don't see when you when it's hanging there. You don't see where it ends up underneath there, but on this one, you can. Now there's a few things I could do. I could take fiber like sari ribbon, a little piece of frayed sari ribbon, and tie it right up in there. You wouldn't see it, and it might look kind of cool. Or I could take and hang a few more chains in there. Or I can go up and take that off and take one loop out, and make it go up in a little bit more. So there you go. There's some problem solving skills for you today. Did we handle this or what? Yay! We troubleshooted. Shot. We troubleshot. Shot. <laughs> Do you want to come over here and show us something? You've been so patiently waiting. She's been wanting to show something. So. I, hi, guys. I had mentioned, I don't know if any of you are from our creative group, if you're watching this. If you're not, you ought to be. Um, but we have a great group. And on Wednesdays, I go live on Facebook, on our creative group, and so I had mentioned that Brenda was going to do a video today with something that I had shown, but Bisu is still working on it. She wants it to be perfect for you guys, so we showed something different today, but I just wanted to mention that we have our chess pieces pendants, and these are great for the tassels. Way. She makes some faces. Right? Okay, I'm sorry. That's I'm new okay. to this, guys. Yeah, well, I, I do it too. I keep, and then I, we have the video, and they're upside down. But these so. these are great pieces to use for the tassels as well. And this is specifically for us. You can only find it here exclusively at Bisu Boutiques. This is in our Bisu 1928 line. And this is the cat, and we also have a horse head, and we also have elephants. Um, that are finished necklaces. So the cat and the horse are just the pendant itself. So you can finish it yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we have three for now, and we'd like to have five. You want two more chess pieces? I want two more. So who are you talking to about that, Lauren? Mr. Beanie himself. Yeah, Mr. Bernie. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bernie. <laughs> She's just nervous. I have to go between you and him, so I'm combining Oh, be Sue and be... Okay, it's not... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm mashing him up. So you have to talk to Mr. Bernie about Yes, I have to talk to Mel. Okay, so what what would you tell Mel about this? What would you like to see? Personally, I would like a mermaid, for one. Well, now, I'm not sure Mel would think a mermaid would be a good seller. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments, Okay. Put in the comments of the video, would you like to see a mermaid like a, if it was a mermaid about this size and she, you know, had her, her tail, like her tail like looping the, up around or something. So it could be like the cat. Yeah, about the same size as this. And that could be yeah. the fin. Do you think that would really sell to people across the board, like old ladies and young ladies? I think so. Mythical creatures are big. Nautical's big. Yeah. We have a lot of people in the group that buy mermaids and use nautical. There, you know, let me tell you what, on Instagram, there are a lot of people, maybe some of you guys do it too, you make the mermaid headdresses. I mean, they are wild into that. There's one girl on my feed who does amazing headdresses. They go like to, I think it's kind of like Renaissance festivals. They go to mermaid festivals and they dress up like that. How do I not know these exist? Oh, you're going to have to go do <laughs> that. You know, the, Jordan, the, Jordan's going to have to take you dressed up like a mermaid. He might have to carry you. He's going to be like, thanks, Mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, mermaid is a, is a possibility. I don't know that he'd do a mermaid, but we'll, hey, it's... Uh, awesome. Yeah, I think it would sell like... I would sell, buy it and wear it like 24-7. It, it would sell like... And I'm 32, so... Yeah. Well, I'm 63 almost. And, and I, I would I would wear a mermaid. I, I don't care how old I am, I will... Always. I think a mermaid. lot of the ladies that wear the mermaid headdresses are probably 50 and up. Anyway, go to those. It's kind of like the red hat ladies, maybe. <laughs> mermaid hat ladies. I don't know. But it's really spiffy looking stuff. And what else would you would you think would be good? A dragon. Yeah. Again, with the Yeah, well, he hands. told me he didn't think a dragon would work too good for him. 
But I happen to know there is a piece out there in the castings that's a dragon's about the right size. But anyway, it's up to him. He's the boss. He's the boss. And anchor would be good, you mentioned, too. Yes. I do like anchors. Anchor I like yeah. anchors. Yeah. 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 Well, we don't want to drive the man crazy anyway. We're happy that we have the cat. And the hat, cat yes. is safe. Cat, cats, everybody loves cats. And also, this is the old silver we're mm -hmm. plating. And this is the only plating that we have the cat in right now. But this is the best plating to use for these because if you want to colorize, the silver is the easiest. And it goes on really nice. Yeah, you can colors. make any color you want. So you then know. you already have a truly unique piece because you mm -hmm. can only find this here. Mm -hmm. And then if you colorize it as well, then you're really going to have a really, truly unique piece yeah, for yourself. All your own. All yeah, your own. All your own. You can make a gold. We, in fact, even have a video about that. Possibly. Well, anyway, I don't know if Harvey's ever going to get home tonight. Poor grandma and grandpa. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. That's all I wanted yeah, to share with you up. guys. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, whatever. I'm going to start talking Spanish. All righty. Very good. I think we're done for today. Let me just show you one more time. One more time. What was I thinking? Oh, one more time. No, that song in my head is Joe Walsh, All Night Long. Remember that song? <laughs> all totally night it. long. We stayed out all night long. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Joe Walsh. I love Joe Walsh. He's still around, too. Alrighty, there's the pieces for today, babies. Don't forget to get your your doll wings. That's really cool. We'll get your doll wings. I I didn't get that many of them. I don't think they're gonna be around long. We got most of them in silver. I think we got forty of them in silver, and the rest we split up between gingerbread and rusted iron. So come get them, babies. Alrighty, that's enough of me today. I'll see you around here as soon as we figure out how the light ring works better. And I'm making a new uh, set up in my office. It's going to be awesome. So um, we have that to look for. Okay, I'm shutting up now. You all have a wonderful weekend. We love you. You're the best. Have a great time. Be creative. Bye-bye.